Good afternoon, everybody. We are picking it back up in Mark. We left off in chapter 6, and Jesus has gone home, gone back into Galilee. And um, it says here, I'm trying to look for the exact words, that basically he did not do a lot of miracles there. He taught, but he did not do a lot of miracles because of the unbelief of the people that he grew up around they they knew him as jesus the carpenter's son and they didn't have faith in him as the messiah so he did not do miracles and as we read in the last chapter that faith is an essential element for for miracles to be performed so um he's now sending out the 12 disciples two by two and he said do not take a begging bag don't take extra money or bread um just have faith that you will be taken care of, and they will. So we'll pick it up there. Lord, we ask you for wisdom and understanding today as we go to your word. Please open eyes and open ears. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Chapter 6, verse 10. And he said unto them, In what, in what place soever ye enter into a house, there abide, Till you depart from that place. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city that refuseth you. And they went out and preached that men should repent, and they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick, and healed them. And King Herod heard of him, for his name was spread abroad. And he said that John the Baptist was risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. Others said that it is Elias or Elijah. And others said that it is a prophet, or as one of the prophets. But when Herod heard thereof, he said, It is John, whom I beheaded. He is risen from the dead. For Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John, and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her, which was a no-no back then, and John had called him out on it. Well, it said in the next verse, I guess I'll let the Bible speak for itself. For John had said unto Herod, It is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Therefore Herodias had a quarrel against him, and would have killed him, but she could not. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a just man and a holy, and observed him. And when he heard him, he did many things, and he heard him gladly. Herod believed him and respected John. And when a convenient day was come that Herod on his birthday made a supper to his lord's high captains and chief estates of Galilee, and when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced and pleased Herod and them that sat with him, the king said unto the damsel, Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it to thee. He they been drinking pretty heavily at his birthday and um, he's giving away the farm as they would say and he swear unto her whatsoever thou shalt ask of me I will give it thee unto the half of my kingdom this is to his stepdaughter and niece and she went forth and said unto her mother what shall I ask and she said the head of John the Baptist and she came in straightway with haste unto the king and asked, saying, I will I will that thou give me by and by in a charger, big plate, the head of John the Baptist. And the king was exceeding sorry, yet for his oath's sake and for their sakes which sat with him, he would not reject her. He couldn't say no. He had already promised. And immediately the king sent an executioner and commanded his head to be brought, and he went and beheaded him in the prison. 
and brought his head in a charger and gave it to the damsel, and the damsel gave it to her mother. And when the disciples heard of it, they came and took up his corpse and laid it in a tomb. That is a good place to stop. A horrible thing that occurred, um, but all for the glory of the kingdom of God. I love you all. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Love and blessings. We'll pick it up there tomorrow.